everybody welcome to Lisa Simmons art today I'm going to be working on a 12 by 12 stretched canvas and I'm going to be using the three primary colors red blue and yellow also some burnt umber to give it a little bit of interest maybe create something a little unusual I've decided I'm going to do a swipe with these colors and my swipe color is going to be white I do have this spot on treadmill lubricant added into each of my colors. The white does not have any lubricant in it. I didn't really want the white to sell up, but I want the colors to sell up underneath the white as I swipe. So let's get started here. I'm just gonna pour these randomly on here. I have my paints thinned down with Flood Floetrol so that they are the consistency of warm honey. I'm not going to use too much of the burnt umber, just a little bit. We don't really have to worry about everything being filled in completely because as I swipe the paint, it's going to fill in on the blank spaces. And I'm putting my swipe color at the top. Okay, I've moistened my paper towel with just plain tap water. I've moistened it and then wring it out a little bit. You don't want it soaking wet. And we're going to start at the top and lay our towel into the white. And then we just gently swipe down. And as we swipe, we should be seeing cells pop up from the colors beneath. I'm gonna use the paint on the towel to make sure the sides are covered. You can also go back over this with your fingers from the paint that's landed on the table. But I'll go ahead and use this because it does make it a little easier. Okay, I see a lot of beautiful cells coming up. I'm gonna let this sit for a moment and then we're going to torch it. I have some really interesting cell patterns in here. We're going to use my propane torch to torch it to pop any bubbles and then also hopefully bring up cells from beneath the white. I have a few more cells coming up, a lot of little cells. This is just the coolest design here. It reminds me of bird feathers and the colors right here are kind of peacock feathers. To me, the top is a little bit too bare. So I'm just gonna take a stick and swipe down some more and see what we can get. I need to have a steady hand for this and my hand is not the steadiest. You can use other things besides paper towels for swiping. You can use a piece of plastic. You can use wax paper. You can use those little painter spatulas, I guess they would call them. You can use those too. I could have just left the white in here and then maybe painted some flowers, flower petals in there after it had dried, but I just want to do this instead. Just kind of letting it rest on the paint gently and pulling down. Swipe it ever so gently because you don't want to pull your paint off the canvas. I'm wiping off the tongue depressor after every swipe because I don't want to put that paint back into the canvas. It's okay if you leave the white at the top, but I just don't like that look. I like the whole canvas to be full. I'm also hoping I can pull out some more of this blue. A lot of red in here. Every time I use red, it seems to overtake. I'm pretty happy with that. Just touch up a little paint on the sides here. Well, I think that looks pretty cool. There will be more movement as this piece dries and I'm anxious to see what the dried piece looks like. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and stay tuned for close-ups on this piece. I'll see you next time. Bye.